Hi, this is Alexei Goodesman reporting for Amuse News. Andrew Lloyd Webber is set to release his latest musical Cinderella in spring 2021. If it were really to happen, it would indeed be a bit of a fairy tale. But let's not make a song and dance about it. The Dutch director Lotte de Beer has been announced as the next director of the Vienna Volksopera. She has promised less opera and more operetta and free beer for everyone. In future productions we also expect a marked increase in extremely tall singers singing naked behind windows while smoking weed. All glorious traditions the Dutch are famous for all over the world. A forgotten studio recording of the jazz trumpet legend Woody Shaw has been released. The album 49 Parallel, led by Canadian bassist Neil Swainson, was recorded in 1987 and was out of print for 25 years. Luckily, someone found fresh ink. Apparently, Shaw came straight out of rehab to do the recording and was nearly blind at the time. Swainson says that Woody had to play everything by ear for this album, which somehow fails to impress uh, him being one of the biggest names in improvising jazz. The brilliant and fabulous pianist with the unspellable name Katja Bunyatishvili has become an ambassador of the luxury brand Cartier. Katja says, I am happy and honored to become an ambassador of Cartier. Accepting inessential human needs makes them measurable, prevents their growth into greed. This is how I see Cartier. The golden proportion of glamour, never less, never too much. It is a pure joy to be part of your family and I'm keen to accomplish together in future many beautiful things with your signature charm and glamour for arts and culture against inequalities and for celebration of uniqueness of every individual. Cartier watches selling at between $2,600 and $2.7 million clearly battle inequality and have something for everyone. Everyone from the rich to the super rich. Legendary rock band ACDC teased their new single Shot in the Dark for a week on YouTube before releasing it. This seems a little more tame than when their drummer Phil Rudd teased their last album in 2014 with being charged with possession of drugs, trying to hire a hitman and threatening to kill someone. The lyrics to the new song are as poetic and coherent as expected. I need a pick-me-up, a rolling thunder truck. I need a shot of you, a tattooed lady wild. Like a mountain ride, I got hunger. That's the loving truth. The loving truth is that this has very little to do with the original 1964 Pink Panther movie, Shot in the Dark. However, we believe that the title of the new Shot in the Dark song was more inspired by the US government's approach to containing COVID-19. The piano that John Lennon wrote his legendary song Imagine on is on display at Liverpool's Strawberry Field exhibition in honor of the late Beatles legend's 80th birthday courtesy of the estate of George Michael, who bought it in the year 2000. This calls to mind the video created by Wonder Woman actress Gal Gadot with friends like Jimmy Fallon, Will Ferrell, Nora Jones and many others, right at the start of lockdown. In it, a bunch of Hollywood celebrities thought it would be a great idea to share a song that starts with the line, imagine there is no heaven at the beginning of a global pandemic. The video clearly does promote hope, but more for atheists. Unfortunately, they forgot to pick a key, making it practically unbearable to listen to, especially for musicians, until the very talented Charles Cornell came along to save the day and fix it. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. Imagine all the people. We look forward to.
to seeing you next week again with the Muse News. If you subscribe to my channel, then the world will be a better place. Well, not really, but it will help me. So please subscribe. Thank you.